MG Rival Youth Football Stream. I'm here with Coach Carter, head coach of the RPA Bills. What's going on, Coach? How you feeling? How's it going? See, you got about to working early. Yes, sir. Yes, so how long you been coaching? Uh, I'm going to my 11th season right now. Okay. Yeah. 11th season with them guys, or? Nah, I did uh, my first, I think, seven with this organization, and then I went to the Ducks, did, I think, five with them, and now I'm back here. Interesting you bring up the Ducks. I had a few questions about that, but before we get there. Uh, honestly, man, I just seen a lot of my friends taking a bad, like, bad path and stuff, so once I got out of high school, I kind of just jumped right into it because I ain't had nothing. So what does RPA stand for? Uh, How did you guys come up with a name like that? Real Pressure Academy. Um, honestly, me and my man Mike, um, our son's about the same age, so the COVID year, we planned on both retiring and trying to start something when our sons got of age. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, honestly, I just not retiring, and he did. And then I ended up going back with the Ducks. So I kind of been had the name in my phone and stuff ready, but we just ended up not doing it. Real Pressure Academy. Yeah. It's catchy. It's something that stands out from other teams. Yeah. Um, honestly, we, we still kind of deciding what's going to be best for our organization. Um, the organization that we bring, uh, that we merge with is a Pop One organization, right. and you know it's a thought that we probably more likely gonna just stay Pop One with them. But you know, like we just discussing it, what's best for us as a group. You well, know it's always saying? nice to have options. Right? Yeah. yeah. So earlier you brought up the Ducks, and I wanted to ask you, you know, what made you leave your last situation, or how did that? Um, it was just a growth thing. Um, you know, we we all like black leaders and stuff like that. So it was just like it was kind of time for me to do my own thing. You know what I'm saying? Me and my guys just decided to, to branch off, come, uh, you know, merge with a, few, a different group of people. That's all. I still love over there, but we just decided to do the best for us. Right, because um, as I understand, you work guys work pretty well together. You were third in the YMC, is that right? Or yeah, yeah, we came in third last year. Um, yeah, most of them dudes over there, we do work pretty well. I coach with them. Most of them that's still over there a point of time, and then I got my own staff. Um, and, yeah. So, do you consider yourself still having the core from that team to make that great run, or you got all the holes to fill as far as moving forward? Um, I, I, I feel like I do got the core because the foundation of football is your trenches. Okay. So I do got most of my offensive linemen, most of the defensive players, but it is uh, certain spots that I do have to fill, and I feel like I fill them for the most part. So how you feel about this team, and what are your expectations for these guys? Um, I, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. I think we going we um, everybody should know. You know, we play competition. I think we'd be able to compete with anybody. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, as you see, we out here earlier, early. So we just ironing our uh, wrinkles and shit. You know what I mean? But I, I feel like we'd be able to compete with anybody. And, and I, you, guys, you guys did compete. I see. So, um, how'd you feel about the first week of the spring camp? Oh uh, man, well first of all it was cold. So it was I cold. Felt cold Whoa, you know what I'm that was serious. It was like 10 degrees out there. Snowing, right. Man. Shit like that. So a lot of stuff that people seeing online, they gotta take an effect. They not out there with us mm -hmm. playing in this cold, coaching in this cold. I'm but you, bro. I am proud of my group for us to have so many holes that we had to fill and we performed out there. And it's a running clock game. If you really know running right. clock, the yeah. game is an hour long. Yo, and it was brick. I was up in the I was up in the booth with the heater yeah. and hand warmers. Yeah. My, Man, I couldn't even hold the camera, man. It was real. So, you know, I had to clap it out for them boys even being out there playing. Yeah. What's up, man, with some guys you, you build the team off of? Um, I got my boy Money, Justice Johnson. Who uh, he play? He played running back, okay. uh, middle linebacker. Okay. I got uh, Nudie, Jaleek Allen. He's okay. one of my boys in the trenches. Uh, Zaire Smith. Drell Glover. Uh, it, uh, really, honestly, a lot of my boys is good. I don't really think nobody on my team is bad. Honestly, you know, it's a lot of names I can keep going, but a lot of them is my uh, captains and stuff like Bop and you know uh, Rashad Brown and stuff like that. They my captains and they help me get the team together along with my coaches. Right, we love to have you in this community, and it's good to see you taking guys, you know, young guys out to places they haven't been. You know, we like to try to go places we haven't been. So we okay. we did the okay. California before um, we went to Atlanta. Right now we're thinking about Texas, we're thinking about nice. Kansas City, um, and we're probably going to go to Virginia, even though we went there before, but, you know, two years ago we went, we fell short, so we're going to go back there. Fall the shortest part of the journey. Yes, Texas, it is. That's a big step from large football corner out there. Well, we, like I said, we went to Cali last year, so we just want to, like I said, man, give kids different experiences, but also with that, we're going to try to win the football game. Absolutely, well. absolutely. So, other than that, anything else you want to add or anything else you want these boys to know? Man, I mean, you know, most of the people that know me know, man, we coming to play. They know we, my, me and my team coming to coach. So it's like, you know, if y'all gonna line up against us, man, y'all gonna have to just bring it. It's as simple as that. My boys is not playing no games. 
They real physical, we real big, so, you know what I mean? If they not scared, we gonna line that shit up and see what happens. Hey, we here to compete. Oh, with a name like Coach Carter, you know you're gonna bring it. Yes, hey, it's your boy AMG Rob, man. You football extreme. Yes, sir. This is what I want to see. Yes, sir. Holla at us, man. All right.